Back to another session of Educator.com, introduction to C++. Today, we're talking about operators and expressions. More operators and expressions, but you need operators for your expressions. Okay, quick overview. We get operators we're going to be looking at. We do, uh, operators, you can kind of look at them as kind of functions. They take two parameters, one on either side. Um, we have assignment uh, operators, arithmetic, comparators, which say, is this one greater than that one? Uh, Booleans, um, is this true or is it false? And the precedence of operators and some expressions that put all the operators and values and, and variables together so that you can get an additional value. A little bit about type promotions and a few, few cautions to be on the lookout for. All right, now, operators work on their parameters and they return a value. So most of them have got two, two uh, uh, parameters. You've got A plus B. Plus is the operator. A is the one on the left. B is the one on the right. Um, it returns a value that's equal to the left side, A, added to the right side. B. I may seem uh, uh, straightforward, but it gets, gets more complicated later. Uh, some operators, like this one, is a unary operator. It has just one parameter, uh, returns the value on its right side. In this, in this case, it negates whatever that value is. If it was a ne positive number, it makes it negative. If it was a negative number, it makes it positive. And we do have a ternary operator in C and C++ where we have an expression which is evaluated for truth or false. If it's true, it returns the value of the first one between the question and the colon. And if it's false, it returns the second one. Now, the left side and right side is important. You get different results based on what your left and right values are. Um, some things you get the same things like, okay, plus and multiply, for example, call it commutative operators. Um, a plus B is the same as B plus A, okay? Two plus three is five, three plus two, still five. Subtract, divide, we get different results. Um, a minus B is not the same as B minus A. This distinction is, it is also very important for the assignment operator. Um, a lot of newbies will, will make this mistake when they're first writing code. So you have A equals B. That's a single equal sign. That's an assignment. That's not a comparator. Is A equal to B? Is not a algebraic uh, equation where you say A and B are happen to have two equal values. No, that is taking the value, the expression of, of B, and assigning that to the variable a. Um, if we reverse those, it does the exact opposite. It takes whatever is in A, assigns it to the variable B. In this particular example, we have a literal, 17, a numeric literal, and we're assigning the value 17 into A. And I see this in more newbie codes. We try to do the reverse of that. No, it won't work. What this is saying is take whatever the value of A is and assign it to 17. 17 is a literal. You can't assign it to anything. And it won't assign the opposite direction. So you can't do this. It's just totally illegal statement. So again, we'll do a little bit more on our basic assignment operator. It's a single equal sign. Um, in C and C++, there's also a double equal sign that has a completely different uh, meaning. So here we have um, some expressions. We, we have int has been initialized to 5, or excuse me, A is an int initialized to 5, B is initialized to 10, C is initialized to 25. So we can print out B is, and it will print out the value of B. So we'll get 10 will be printed out. Now we're saying, now we want to change B. We want to take A, apply the operator plus and to C. So C is 25, A is 5, 5 plus 25 is 30. If, let me get my calculator. Yep, that's what it is. And so now we can say B is changed to B. So now this should get a 30 printed up. Now we say, well, here's another thing. Some folks sometimes get confused and say, it's impossible for A to be equal to A plus 1. It's not an e it's not an equation, it's an operation. What this says, take the value of A, which is 5, 
add one to it. So five plus one is six, and now assign that to A. So A is not five anymore. Now A is six. Now, a real quick thing on uh, confusing your readers. It's more important that your code is readable by humans than it is to be readable by the computer. The computer doesn't care what you do. It will try to interpret it as best as can and do what it thinks you want to do. But more time is spent with a human looking at code, trying to debug it, add features, whatever else, than it is for the computer to run things. So you'll see this kind of code all the time. It's not always a bad thing. I don't like it. Uh, a equals B equals C equals 17. Now this is an operator. It has a left side and a right side. The left side is it's called the left-hand expression. And it has to be a variable where you can store the data. The right-hand side is a value expression. If there's a variable there, it will go find out what that variable is equal to. And so we have here C is equal to 17, and we're setting B equal to that. So the C equals 17 not only sets 17 to C, but it evaluates to 17. So now B is equal to 17, and A is equal to 17 by the same logic. But, and of course, this is my opinion. You'll, you'll see this code all over the place. Some people like it. They think it's great. I, I don't like it. I prefer this way because you, you declare int, you can put a comment right next to it. B, beta, gamma, and I just came up with some random comments. And then C equals 17, and then B equals C, and then A equals B. So that's a little bit clearer. It's easier for a human to read. Even better is don't use a 17 like that. This is what's called magic numbers, where you actually just put a number in there. Nobody knows what the number is for, but it's magic because the code works. But have initial value. Have a variable that says... Um, altitude of, of, of elevator at the start. So int A is your first elevator, int B is your second elevator. You set them all to the same value this way. So I have some comment here to describe why we chose 17 for this particular um, value. And I declared it as a const because I am not going to change it for whatever reason. Now you might come and recompile it later and say, well, we discovered it can't be 17, it has to be 16. Well, that's fine. You change it in one place, and all the other ones will get the new updated value. 